Assalamualaikum students welcome to my youtube channel Al Sayyid Institute in the previous video lecture i have explained what is partial fraction and how can we solve simple fraction through partial fraction okay students now in the today's video lecture i am going to explain what is proportional fraction and improper rational fraction so the fraction of the form nx over dx nx over dx where nx is the numerator and dx is the denominator the degree of numerator is less than the degree of denominator then it is called proper fraction degree of numerator is less than the degree of denominator for example 4x plus 1 over x square plus 5x plus 4 4x plus 1 is numerator and x square plus 5x plus 4 is denominator. So the degree of numerator is 1. x raised to the power 1 is the degree of numerator. And the degree of denominator is 2. Mean maximum power of the variable is 2. So this is degree of denominator. So the degree of numerator is 1 and the degree of denominator is 2. So 1 is always less than 2. So this is called proper rational fraction. Another example is 5 over x plus 4. 5 is numerator. There is no variable in the numerator. So the degree of numerator is 0. And the degree of denominator is 1 because there is x raised to the power 1. So 0 is less than 1. This is the example of proper rational fraction. Now in the improper fraction, the fraction of the form nx over dx. Where nx is the numerator and dx is the denominator, degree of numerator is greater or equal than degree of denominator. denominator okay students for example 4 x square plus 5 over x square plus 5 x plus 6 the degree of uh, the degree of numerator is 2 and the degree of denominator is also 2 so 2 is equal to 2 this is the example of improper fraction another example is 4x cube plus 7x square plus 5 over x square plus 3x plus 2. The degree of numerator is 3 and the degree of denominator is 2. So 3 is greater than 2. This is called improper fraction. Okay students, in the today's video lecture I have explained proper and improper fraction. In the next video lecture I will explain how can we solve proper and improper fraction through partial fraction which link will be provided in the description box if you are new to our youtube channel then kindly subscribe my channel we'll meet you in the next video lecture goodbye allah Hafiz.